Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping. And today I'm gonna to show you this cute little mailbox project that I'm doing. Um, one of my best friend's um, daughters is turning 12 and um, I thought I'd make her this cute little mailbox because I, I know she'll really appreciate it and she'll love it for her birthday. Okay, so I haven't already made one up so I'm just gonna kind of be um, making this as I go along. So just, just bear with me and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm starting out with a piece of powder pink cardstock. So this was a standard uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet that I cut down to eight and a half by 10, but hold on to this little piece that you cut off because you will be using that. And I'm gonna use my Simply Score scoring tool here. And I'm gonna put it in the long way and I'm gonna score this at three and at seven inches. I'm gonna use the small end here, my little tool. So actually this is the small end. So I want to score it at three and at seven. So we're just starting out by making just a simple box. And then I'll rotate it and score at three and five and a half. So three and five and a half. All right. And now uh, if you've made a box or watched any of my videos, you've seen this done a million times. So I'm just going to trim. So you just want to uh, trim right here. So I have the the paper going the long way you trim these two score lines just up until they meet this score line right here so grab out your paper snips or whatever scissors you have and just go up those one two now you can cut the little um, piece of pie out of each tab this way um, if you just like it to be a little nicer and neater but it's going to be the inside of my mailbox, and so this, this is just fine like this for me. One, two, three. I think mailboxes are really popular at Valentine's Day time, so this is a good project for... Sorry, guys, my phone rang. Okay, I'm almost done cutting these tabs, so one, two, three, four. As I was saying, uh, these mailboxes are usually really popular at Valentine's time, but um, you can make them for birthdays, too. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to burnish all of my score lines um, and I like to give them a nice crisp burnish. I am not moving my Simply Score because I'm going to use it again in just a second, but um, feel free to move yours out of the way if it, if it bugs you. So one, two, you can also burnish before you cut if you prefer. I just, I don't even think I really have a preference. Okay, one, two, three, four, and this last one. Okay, so I burnished that. And now I'm going to glue my box together. So your, the box goes together just like this. So what um, you're gonna wanna do is, I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna put fast views on my outer tabs. I like to use fast views because I wanna use something really strong that isn't going to, uh, so the box won't come apart at all. But if you're doing yours more for decorative purposes, um, you could probably get away with just using snail. Uh, liquid adhesive would work really well in this also. Okay, so I'm just doing the top and the outer edge tab of each outside tab. Okay, and now I'm going to do my box. So I'm going to start with this side right here. So I just want to line it up. And you just want to make sure that your outer, this out side piece lines up perfectly and then the rest will come together just fine. So there, and I press. Now let me do the other side. Can you guys see this? So I wanna line it up, press, and now do these ones. So line it up, press, and line it up, and press. There we go. So that's just the inside of my mailbox there. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I have another piece of cardstock. You could use a different color. I'm gonna just still go with the powder pink. Um, and this is cut at four inches by 12 inches. So this is powder pink again. Our um, ink colors do come in 12 by 12 paper. Um, so you'll need to use a cardstock that comes in 12 by 12 so you can cut it four inches by 12 inches. And I'm gonna put this in here and I'm just gonna score this at nine and a quarter and three and three quarters. So nine and one quarter right here and then three and three quarters so right there all right and that's all i need is that right nine and a quarter why do i feel like that nope that's not what i wanted to do okay guys hold on just a second let me fix this 
Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to cut another piece. Sorry. The problem with winging it is that um, sometimes you can make mistakes. I was actually reading um, some measurements. Okay, so here's my 4 by 12 piece of powder pink again. And I'm actually going to score it at uh, 2 and a quarter and 11 and 3 quarters. So 2 and a quarter, or sorry, 2 and, two and a half right here and 11 and three quarters. Sorry guys, you know if you watch my videos regularly, I don't edit out mistakes because I want you to see, we all are gonna make mistakes and I want you to see how I fix them. So in this case, since I'd already scored those wrongs, I just had to cut a new piece, but I'm not going to throw, I won't throw this scrap out because actually I'll probably cut it on the score lines and then I'll throw this in with my powder pink scraps and I'll still be able to use that. All right, now I'm done with my simply score though. So again, guys, did you get that? I scored, this was cut at four by 12, and I scored it at two and a half and 11 and three quarters. Now I can put my Simply Score away, and I'm going to burnish my score lines here. So this little tiny one quarter inch one right here, and let me burnish this one. All right. Okay, now I have a piece of designer series paper. So this is from the whole lot of lovely designer series paper and I picked this because it had the powder pink in it but I think um, she'll really like the colors um, in this um, with the flowers so you want this cut at nine and a quarter by three and three quarters all right and what we're gonna do is let me just set this aside real quick what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some um, adhesive just right here along this tiny flap so that I can what I'm going to do is I'm going to put adhesive right here and then I'm going to glue it right here onto the end like that. So see, we're making the shape of our mailbox. So let me get my adhesive on here and I'm going to use my fast fuse again. Okay. And I'm going to line it, just roll it around and I'm going to line it up right here with this one, the edge of this. Okay, and press, there we go. And see it naturally will just kind of form into the this. Now what I wanna do with my designer series paper is I'm just gonna wrap this around my mailbox so it fits over perfectly like so. So I'm, not, I'm just gonna use my regular snail adhesive. And I'm going to put adhesive on both ends. Uh, liquid glue would work really well here too because liquid glue you have a little bit more time to move things around. So I'm gonna line it up. You'll have a little bit of a border on each side. So let me see, line this up as good as I can. Wrap it around. And it should line up perfectly on this side. There we go. Cute, right? And then my little uh, box should fit perfectly right inside. And it does. Look at that. Cute, right? I think it's cute. I'll be able to fill this with little treats for her and put a little card and stuff like that inside for her. All right, but since it is a mailbox, we wanna finish it up. So with that little piece that we had left over, we're just gonna fold that um, in half um, just to make it a little bit stronger. And I'm gonna put some adhesive on that just to glue it together. This is gonna be the, we're making the flag of our mailbox, okay? And then right here, um, I already stamped this, so I used the Butterfly Basic stamp set. I did the Sending Wishes Your Way stamp, and I stamped that in basic black onto Whisper White cardstock. So this was cut at two and a quarter by one and a quarter, and I dismounted it onto more powder pink. That's two and a half by one and a half. And I'm gonna put that on right here. So let me get some adhesive on here. Right there on the top of my, my little flag and then let's see I am going to where do I want to stick this on here I think I want it just about right here so I'm gonna just put some adhesive about halfway up on this so it won't move if you have like a brad or something like that you could technically attach these so that they move but I don't have anything like that so I'm just gonna stick it on but I want it to look like it can move. So I'm grabbing my clear, my clear um, gems here. Let me see here. And I'm gonna stick that right there. And there we go. So now it looks like it has a little 
bolt or screw there. And there's my cute little mailbox. Isn't that sweet? So like I said, I'm going to fill this with treats for her. Um, maybe a gift card or two to go in there. But it was so simple and quick and easy to make this. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my cute little tiny uh, simple mailbox. Make sure you check me out at a2zstamping.com. Find me on Facebook, guys. A2Z Stamping. Thanks. Bye.